Hey guys, welcome back to Zelda. Today, I'm probably going to be doing the fifth dungeon. Actually, as you can tell from my inventory, we are basically missing one item in this game. And I can't exactly remember what it is. Where are we missing one item? I can't remember. See, we have the Ocarina. Um, uh, yeah, I can't remember what item we're missing. Okay. I know we don't... Oh, I know what item we're missing now. Yeah, we don't get to the eighth dungeon. I mean, now you're wondering, well, where are the items in the next two dungeons? Well, they're actually upgrades. You'll notice, like, beside my sword, it says level one. Everything with a level beside it could be upgraded. In the next dungeon, we're going to be getting an upgrade for either our shield or our tossing armlet thing. I'm not going to spoil which one, but it's one of those. So, yeah, let's go on to the sixth dungeon then. Which I believe is this way. It's not exactly super clear where it is, which actually, before I go there, I can actually, because I have the hookshot now, do the uh, little puzzle thing that's down here. Okay, take seriously. You're dead. Of course, first I have to jump across this gap, <coughs> which is just great. I just missed. That's fantastic. Missed again. Okay, I didn't even jump that time. Okay, I made it that time, but only because of, uh, quick thinking. Okay, we should be good now. Just kill these slimes. No, no, there's like 20 freaking signs around here. What you're supposed to do... ...is you've got to find the sign that acts as a start point. Which is this one. So it's gonna tell you you go this way. To which you do. And you basically have to follow these signs. And you have to do it in order or it doesn't work, by the way, so... Just a warning. If it's not in order, it will not work. So now you already know there's a problem here. That there's no way you'd be able to do this without the hookshot. But that's why we have the hookshot. Okay, now go north from here. It's pretty easy to do this too because it's, for the most part, it's pretty obvious like where the signs are because it's a grid pattern. Grids are always pretty easy to do. Okay, so now I have to go this way, which is not that sign. It's the sign on this level. You have to keep that in mind. So this is like a little fun puzzle here. It's not super hard. Clearly. And you do have to do this in order. There's no way you can do it without doing it in order. Now we go north. And back west. Now we use this sign. Which leads straight to this sign. Which then tells us to go this way. Did I seriously fuck that up? I did. Well, 20 minutes later... And yes, you do have to read each of these signs. It doesn't work if you don't read the signs. Which is why this is annoying, because if you screw up once, you're doing a hell of a lot of backtracking. It's pretty ridiculous, actually. That's fine. Except for the part where I just fucked up. Okay, seriously. Loves out. Okay, now north. Oh, honestly, I probably don't even need my sword out, but that's fine. So back north we go. This is gonna be pretty annoying just because I screwed up right near the end, I'm pretty sure. The end was pretty much in sight and I fucked up. My own fault, but whatever. Okay, now we go here. Now we go north. Okay, you need to die. Thank you. Back left.
down. Let's not screw up this time. Because that was stupid. And like incredibly stupid too, that was just me not even thinking. And this is the last sign, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, you did it! Your reward is this way. Obviously. So what's down here? Apparently the frickin' frog for Mario 2. Okay. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to uh, tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Wanna hang out and uh, listen to us? For 300 rupees, uh, we'll let you just listen to a previously unreleased cut. I don't have that money. I forgot this costs money. But that's where you get the third Ocarina song, I'm pretty sure. And we have to do that again. Wow. Wow. I'm done. We'll go back to that when we actually need it, which is for the seventh dungeon. Hopefully by then we have 300 rupees. Because otherwise it's gonna be farming time. Whatever. Speaking of which, I'm... I now remember where to bring this uh, broomstick that I got from the side quest chain. Shigeba is always, as usual, super unclear about where to bring stuff, but it's fine. Like, once you figure it out, you feel kind of dumb. This one, though, it's kind of like, okay, ha Like, there's a hint as to, like, where you might need to do that. And it's a really vague hint. Let's see... Now, the problem is this woman here that you're supposed to talk to likes to teleport between this village and the animal village. So that's going to probably end up being a pretty significant problem. What's up here? Nothing. That's great. Why didn't you build stairs there, villagers? Okay, well, she's not here, and she's most definitely not up here. Which means she's probably at animal village. It's a 50-50 chance, which kind of is annoying. So I'll go check around the animal village, see if I can find her. So I have to give this broomstick to someone. So I can continue my side quest. Which is kind of... This is definitely not the teleporter I wanted. Well, I guess it is, because the teleporter system in this game works really weirdly, but whatever. So, now where is she? She's not there. She's not there. Here she is. Yay, a new broom for me. It is, isn't it? Yep. Okay, in return, you can have this fishing hook. And that's where you get the fishing hook. Yay, what will the fishing hook become? Because at this point, the game basically throws away, like, all semblance of fourth wall and just says, Okay, we well, this is a side quest. So why are you gonna turn this into Link? Well, okay for me, I know exactly where the fisherman is. Which is going to save me a lot of time. Hopefully. The fisherman is actually just self up here. That's not the B button. That's the B button. I was getting reused to these controls because I haven't played in a while. Now, as usual, I need to use the feather to jump up. I don't know why that has to be done, but whatever. Oh, what's that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You'd better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. Okay. All right, boy. Feast your eyes on this. This on the. Bleh. On this display of fishing skills. Whoa, Nelly, it's a big one. Oh boy. And... It became a necklace. Lucky. I believe this necklace is what the mermaid lost. Which means we can basically finish a side quest now. It turns out the glitch I was thinking of with that one cave in the Animal Village. Well, it's not a glitch, but it's something you actually have to perform at some point. 
Which, you know, the game's very unclear on how you perform it, but whatever. Oh, that's it. That's my necklace. Give it. Give it back. I will give you a skill, as I said. Okay. Promise you only take one. As like dived underwater and probably more boots a mermaid. You returned the necklace and got a scale with the mermaid. How will you use this? I know exactly how I'll use this. Exactly how. And no, it's not the way you guys are thinking. There's a legitimate side quest you need to do with this scale. Oh boy. So back up we go. As I slash grass for money because I kind of need that right now. Okay, the rock guys are the worst ever. It's only because they have a rock on their head and there's no other way to get rid of the rock. That I know of. So now that we have the hook shot, we can get across here. Which we actually need to do. And here's the statue. You put the missing scale in the, sta in the statue and... Staircase. The end of the side quest, right here. You got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things to you that you couldn't see before. Very important we get that. No, I don't want. Stupid up arena. I forgot you can't go side to side on the up arena because of stupidity. I just want to check behind these skulls, make sure there's no hidden seashells. So now, because we've got this, we could, in essence, get the most overpowered weapon in the game. So my, the magnifying, oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. These enemies were supposed to be in this room, but they're invisible. I just happened to get really lucky and dodge them all. So they were in here all along. So yeah, now we can see invisible enemies, which is incredibly useful. Great, I think that's like the only room in the game that features invisible enemies. But still. Because I think the game creators realize, you know, you can't expect people to do this bullshit side quest. <laughs> so it's only fair, but whatever. Create these guys for a while. Okay, seriously? Okay, well, whatever. We got through that. And the side quest chain is officially done. And we're actually not too far from where we need to be, actually, if I remember correctly. I don't know why I did that. How many seashells? 16? I'm like four away from uh, a really cool item. That's going to be really, really useful to have. You can beat the boss of the game without it, but it's a lot higher. And here we are. Yeah, there are two shrines, one to the north, the other to the south. First, head south, where ancient runes speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Oh, indeed we will. It's, like, vitally important that we head south first. Like, vitally important. I actually don't think you can even do anything north without heading south first. Or maybe you can, I, I don't remember. I'm also sure there's probably a seashell in this mess of crap. Shall we find out? Probably is. I put my money on it. I'm also not sure why there's a frickin' maze here, but whatever. Nothing there. Now I'm trapped. <laughs> okay, I need to stop sneezing when I record. As if I, could, as if I could control that, but still, there is a cave here, which I don't actually remember what's behind this cave. So let's blow it open and find out. Well, this is the, the cave that leads to six dungeon. No, it's not. It's a fairy fountain. Fair enough. Now, I do remember what's on the other side of this river. It's a waterfall. I can't go up. Okay, getting bombed off the screen was not fun, but whatever. 
I do believe there is actually something I need to do up there to get a piece of heart, but... I'll have to wait for the next time, because I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, seriously, stop throwing bombs directly at me, you homie missile fuck. Look at this guy. What an asshole. There's nothing over here. Well, we'll ch check under these rocks with the shovel. No, there is nothing. You never know, sometimes the game does shit. Okay, now we're in something that looks straight out of Zelda 1. I wonder which ones come to life. Maybe it's the ones that are glowing green. And this is why you need the bow. So I don't believe they can be hurt with anything except for the bow. Nope. Sword does no damage. Let's see, there's no hidden staircase under any of these guys. These guys are basically one shot by arrows. Which is very helpful to know, because you're going to need that. Matter of fact, you just played simple need arrows for the next mini boss. Or you're screwed, basically. Now, these guys are pretty nice, and they always drop their arrow back, so. That's, like, really generous of them. Except when they drop a Guardian A Quarter, some bullshit like that. I believe stealth is the way to go. I was wrong, maybe there's something behind this guy. No, there isn't. Okay, you need to die. Um, this guy, maybe. Oh, I hit the right guy, at least. I believe there's nothing self, but I'll check anyway. Actually, this would be a place to hide a seashell, knowing this game. Uh, I was wrong. Whatever. Nothing under him. I think there's one under a guy over here somewhere. Okay, you need to die. I can just slice through that because I'm cool. One of these guys, I'm pretty sure, has a staircase underneath him. It was, wasn't that guy, it was this guy. Get my arrows back. And what's down here? A secret seashell. Yes, we collect a lot of these. Something good's about, bound to happen. I just wasted an arrow pressing A so much. Whoops. Whatever. Just not to kill this guy again. Plus these guys. 18 arrows is kind of a sh shitty amount, but there's no way I can get more arrows than this anyway at this point in the game, so... Might as well. Go go with what the game gives you. I'm really low on health, actually. Which is not good at all. Okay, slime, go away. How do you hit me out of that? Okay, you need to die. Seriously, stop spawning. Well, I'm probably gonna die on this boss now, because I have no health. We'll see. Please be a fairy in one of these, because I desperately need to stop that. I really need to move that ocarina, there's like somewhere way in the corner where I never have to select it. Okay, health would have been nicer than arrows, just... Yeah, because I have literally 20 arrows. I think the max I can get in the game is like 30, because the game is really dumb with arrows. Like, there's, there's a low-ass supply of arrows in this game. No, I don't want to put this on there. I, mean, I want to do that. Okay, boss time. Hopefully I never get hit. Okay, I'm gonna need the feather for this, aren't I? Okay, that wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it was. But it takes the 13 arrows to kill him. And that's literally where you get the key to the 6th dungeon. The face key. I wonder what the boss of the 6th dungeon is. Could it possibly be a face? 
And also the dumbest boss in the game. We'll find out. Giant green tablet that's glitching out the top of the screen? Tell me. Fish owls. To the finder, the Isle of Coholent is but an illusion. Okay. Human, monster, sea, sky. A scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Coholent will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Castaway, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? Okay. So if the windfish streams up this island, we wake the windfish, the windfish will make this island disappear. So what you're saying is we should probably build a raft 